joining us. Today we are going to be showing you how to wear big, fluffy, sturdy, bulky, but not real, bulky, yeah, real coats. close to look flattering. Because some people think just because they've got a big coat on, they actually look like a bit of a teddy bear themselves, but you don't. <laughs> Trust me, you don't. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a bit of an art, I think, wearing big bulky layers, but you can definitely do it. And so many people don't know how. So today we thought we would show you how to get into this trend because they are pretty cool. And the oversized look is going to be one of those things coming in fashion. So you've got to get onto it. Yeah, and you have to know how to do it. And we'll give you all the tips today. And you know what? I'm almost feeling undressed. I'm going to put on my coat. Yes. And while Faye is getting dressed, I have to do the boring reminder <laughs> that if you are watching us on Facebook, the link is above this video. And if you're watching on YouTube, just scroll down a little bit and in the comments it will give the link to actually shop all the items in this capsule. So, okay, now I'm feeling dressed. Okay. Oh, good. And have a look. Really, being a petite person and only being five foot, you would think that I couldn't get away with something like this, yeah, right? Yeah, totally. And I'm but it's so not true. Out. So this is our, you're testing me with names here, Rouge Fluffy Coat. I mean, that's pretty simple, that name, isn't it? Yeah, we've called everything fluffy coat. So yeah, you literally yeah. got to make sure you got the right picture. Exactly. Yeah. So you'll see the red coat. You can't miss it on the website. So um, yeah, Faye is wearing a size 10 now. Faye is normally a size 8. So you can see this is pretty much what it will look like if you wear one size up. Looks awesome on a size 8. And now, should I just put, yeah, put it on so they can see? Yeah, see the difference on you? Yeah, yeah. sure. Over your vest. Yeah, I'll put it over my vest for now so you can see what a couple of bulky layers looks like. This is mine. I haven't chopped this bit off yet. She did that so we don't accidentally take it. I don't want someone to sell it on me. <laughs> All right, so I'll do it without my vest as well. But this is basically a size 10. Feels really comfy. Doesn't feel tight anywhere. Bit of sexy red lining. And just as Lauren was getting ready, I mean, I love my collar really big, if you, just to, to give me a bit of drama. But you know what? You don't wear it big. If you do that, it's just a nice collar for a coat. And I'll do this without my vest. Yeah, and you can certainly pull it up there. That was the idea to keep you nice and cosy when it's cold. And you, can, you don't have to do yeah, that. Yeah, and actually you can easily, because we were discussing it before about if someone does want to wear this coat done up, do they need to upsize? And you absolutely do not. No, you don't. Because Let me tell you, you do not. I've got my big fluffy vest underneath, which we'll talk about how to do that too. I can easily put hands in the pocket. So I've got the vest already yeah. bulking me up around here. And you've still got your baby bump, probably. And your plus you that one. Well, you know. <laughs> Mothers can do this sort of stuff. And she's but it's fine. Awesome. Yeah, it's totally fine. But I think like most times you probably would wear it open. It's really beautiful and warm. Mm. And this one doesn't have any stretch because a few of you have asked about... Yeah. Um, Actually, before you take it off, you know, when we're talking about whether you do a coat up or you don't, you know, the best way to wear it is undone because it gives you a slimmer line. So don't worry about how big something is. Mm. If you've got that line going up and down, you look slimmer anyway. As well as, we were just talking about it before, an ankle... Or a wrist, mm. hard to show a wrist on a coat, sure. Mm. Or just a, a slim neck, I yeah, suppose, yeah. that's what you have. But the ankle's the best thing, because that's probably one of the slimmest parts of, um, and, and wrist. Yeah, so we were um, saying, you know, that that's probably the real, really the only trick that you need to do, and we'll continue to talk about this, but you have to wear tight clothes. So today, if I was wearing... I was going to say... Well, your, your skirt's tight, yeah, that's right, the skirt is tight. You've got to show off one part of you that is tight and... Usually it's like your wrists, your neck and your ankles, or they're the smallest part yeah. of all of us. Just shows your shape under something. Absolutely, absolutely. So um, today, like I was going to wear a pair of baggy pants. No, I have this white video. Ones, yeah, uh, which you can do, but like that's, a, that's another conversation. We're going to take baby steps for now. But you do have to just wear tight pieces. So we'll jump to the end just because I've got the best on. So I'm going to take it off okay. so I can try other right. things on. Well, maybe I can. Are you going to leave that yeah, on? Yeah, maybe yeah, I can. On. Yeah, so yeah. I'll try on the. This is a fabulous color for my outfit, by the way. So this is our faux fur vest. We've got three yeah, colours. Vest, then. Um, I think it's called like chalk tan. I don't know what this colour's called, but you'll see them. And then there's a white one, which we can show you in a sec. And we're wearing size tens. And again, that nice swing line down the front. Mm. Actually, it looks good. Yeah, it looks amazing. Yeah, it's down here. And this is mine. So really easy sizing. I think you could get a. This is again a ten, a 10. on page. Who's an eight? I mean, normally I'd think, oh, it's a bit big, but you know what? It's long on me, obviously, and it's a bit chunky, but with slim arms, even with this big top, it actually looks pretty, pretty good, I think. Yeah, no, because it's a skirt as well. Yeah. So normally with a vest, what we'd recommend is that you do wear a tighter sleeve. I think that if, you, if you're new to this sort of thing and your eye isn't used to it, that's what I'd recommend. I know Faye isn't wearing such a tight sleeve, 
She's got her tight skirt it's on. It's still kind of slim though. Yeah, yeah, it is. This is best. You yeah. really want to show. This is our leatherette boat neck top, which I'm obsessed with. Absolutely love it. It's like my new favourite thing. I love the length. Oh, the it looks length. fantastic. Um, so yeah. you want to go a little bit fitted everywhere. So then you can really show off that you're not just some big huge bear underneath here. And you know, like, I know some people, and actually I read a, a, a Facebook note saying someone said, oh, will it fit my fat arms? And we just laughed their head off. Your arm is still smaller than you. So if you're showing an arm, it's still gonna look slimmer than the rest of you, right? Yeah, yeah. And that's kind of what you work with. You Absolutely. don't have to worry about having a uh, oh, fat arm, I don't wanna say it like that, but you know, that customer did. Mm. Don't worry about it, it's still the slimmest part of, you know, compared to a leg and a body. And that's the way to do it. So yeah. if this is hiding it, the rest of you, your arm is still a similar part of you. Yeah, so if, you, if, you, if you're starting out on this fluffy coat journey, um, oh, start with, nice. a, with a slim sleeve. And it's, it's really easy to do because this is just hiding every other part of you. And you know, it's not too hot. I thought I'd be getting hot today because like, I've got baby, baby bag, coffee, you know, wobbling in like this. And I, I felt fine. I was not hot at all. Whereas for my purpose of going to work, you know what, I live two seconds down the road, I probably wouldn't throw this on. This is for me as an outing mm -hmm. because I've got oh, too like many that. things to bloody carry. I've got like a yeah. mountain coat. Okay, you should see how on. many things I have to bring on a Monday morning. It's like I'm going away for two weeks. All right, well, this was actually mine. Yeah, that's so we don't have to hang it because this is actually mine. Okay, I'm just going to put it over here. here. So well, what we thought we'd do is try on bigger sizes. Bigger sizes. I'll show you the other colours. Do you want me to tie the other yeah. yeah, So I'm this wrong. is our white. Fluffy. It's gorgeous. Again, oh, yeah. just dry them in the washing machine. You know that, so we don't have to worry about it being white. Light tan, so green. again, my normal size. Oh, nice with the brown, isn't it? Really yeah. nice. This and again, Faye gorgeous. in a 10, but she's an 8. Yeah, and what I will do, you know, yes, I may do that, but when I'm cold, I'm going to be like a kid and do that kind of thing. <laughs> Hide my hands. But I can still do this. It looks quite kind of cool, you know, doesn't it? And that kind of pulls you off too if you feel yeah, a bit yeah, like you want to walk around in a nice coat on. And it does like that's how I do it. It feels nice. quite loose and free actually. Yeah. It's not restricting. So hang on, does it have no, 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 it's, no stretch. It's, but the it's lining big enough. is the lining stretchy? Yes. Yeah, the lining has stretch. I knew it felt yes. some sort of it, it has a little bit of stretch, see? Yeah. yeah. So even when I'm doing this, like it's it's totally easy. Yes. It doesn't right. feel restricting at all. Yeah. At all. Um, and it's got fabulous pockets, you can stick everything there, including your mobile phone. Yeah, great. Very stylish. Now, Faye, just to remind everyone, Faye is five foot, I'm five foot two. So you can see the length, it's on my knee. I'm going to say it's on my knee, not slightly above. Yeah. And, and you're slightly below. below. But our six foot model, six foot one model, um, you'll see her on our on our. Yeah, website. if you go online, you'll see most of our models are about six foot. Yeah, she's probably up here because she has very long legs. That's why. Mm. Normally, it should only really be oh, roughly above the knee. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That should be on most on the average person. Anyway. All right. So a lot of people have been asking as well if they need to upsize. So I'm going to find a 12 because well you can see what it looks like when Faye upsizes. So this is a 12. Uh, I, I will put on the white one after this because you might not be able to see the black very well. I might put on the 12 anyway okay. so you can see it's what two sizes up look like. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like. People like to see all this. Definitely feels bigger. This definitely feels bigger, good. but now all of a sudden I'm feeling a little bit, let me say, a little bit swamped. But you know what? If I want to add a bit of drama, I would probably. Yeah, definitely. I think it's mainly just not the right size. size. Yeah, it's really just. I'd have to do it twice or something. Yeah, so I can feel. look. I can pull it up like that. Yeah. So I'm not sure what you think, but this is a big size. No, look, I if you're if you're wanting, excuse me while yeah, I have a look in the mirror. <laughs> oh, I don't mind this. Got to guess the part. I guess the collar. Everything just looks bigger. And if I didn't have a ten. Because uh, it was sold out, I'd still buy this. You know, yeah, yes. I'd still buy this. It's not a big deal. If anything, it's mainly just the shoulders. I think that's the main difference. Yeah, because that comes off my shoulder. Yeah, yeah. yeah quite so a bit more of a drop shoulder. Yeah. So that's All right, and this is the 12 on me. So I could definitely one size up. You could easily get away with depending on how comfortable you are. But look, it does feel more roomy, but it doesn't feel any more comfortable than the 10. It, it, it actually, even being this being so big, it's actually a look thing. It doesn't feel any different. Yeah. Is that what you think? That's yeah. exactly right. And. I've tried these on with our big chunky rib jumper because that's what I was wearing yesterday. You probably saw me on, on one of the posts. And it's fine. It doesn't do anything. We've designed it that way. Now I'm going to try on a 14 so you can see a bit of colour. And two sizes bigger. Yeah. Two sizes bigger. Again, I feel a bit, I feel frumpy. I think because of the sleeves. But again, if I did the... Yeah, now you're looking... Because I mean, you, you have to work, work it when you're going for the, for the bigger size. But you don't need to, do you? 
and there's all this extra bulk here. I, I think I prefer in the ten, actually. Yeah. For me, but I you didn't have like that size available. You'd buy that, wouldn't you? Yeah. This definitely feels. It feels like that there's a. Uh, there's a look to it, but I think most people will probably just want to go just with their normal size. size. Yeah. yeah. So don't stress about that. Right, but I think that the thing that makes this work is, so the only thing that makes the big size work is because I'm showing my wrists. Yes. I've got skinny, skinny legs, skinny like leg jeans yes. on, and I've got my neck out. If I had a big chunky scarf, the sleeves rolled down, and a pair of loose pants, yes. I'd, I'd actually yes. look like a Short crazy back. person. <laughs> I look, someone said to me, I look like a box like that. So, I would look like a box. <laughs> Lauren the box. Now, that's terrible. <laughs> I am not looking like a box today, all right? You want to tie on the 14 as well? Okay, so now this is being ridiculous, okay? What is it? I'm an 8 and this is a 14. Let's have a look. And maybe now we should go back to trying on the right size. Yes, see. Oh, my God. No, no, it's, it's actually it's not, cool. it's actually not no, outrageous okay. because... I'm a bit of a drama queen. I, know, I, I like could it. probably get away with this if I want to really be flamboyant. Totally. Totally. You know totally. what? Ooh, just a bit of fun. Maybe I will get no, one in a, in a massive size. Yeah, I think it does look cool. Only because I feel like I'm wearing something quite slim underneath and I still feel... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That sexy look that you want, just that personal sexy look. Um, and, yeah. Yeah, great. So, basically, get any size. Mm, get any size. Get but any what, size. What you really need to do is you've got to wear those tight layers underneath. So, we've got the tight sleeve the tight pant. Now one thing I was also considering today is wearing a skirt. Faye's got the skirt and she's just rocked Love it out because it's Love really it. tight here. Um, but if you want to wear like a really, actually look it, do, it does work but for the purpose of this instruction, if you wanted to say wear a really loose pleated kind of skirt, there's a whole lot of other rules that come in. So that in general isn't going to suit a big coat because it's kind of big and swishy down the bottom. Yeah. You want to be wearing tight, tailored, tapered legs. Yes, tapered. Like that yes. tapered look of what you need. It can be a baggy pant as long as it's sort of got that carrot like shape leg. For the lucky ones who end up getting a cargo pant, that sort of is what we're talking about, that carrot shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it has to just the ankle a little bit. Under. What you really want to avoid is something being really loose and baggy, like a short tall. Yeah, 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 short people problems is that our jeans or our pants are always baggy at the bottom because they're so long. So that's why you've got to make sure it's the right length, it's tapered, you either see a bit of ankle or you've got a bit of definition going in because then someone looking at you can say, oh yeah, there's a body under there and not just this big, you know, I mean, teddy bear. everyone can wear big loose baggy tops, but if I was to wear a big loose baggy skirt with this top, you'd probably be wondering what the... And then I think that if then it comes in, you need to show other definition like a belt that yes. it draws it in. You've got to find other ways to show yeah. off your body. Yeah. But again, that's another okay. conversation. Okay, All right, so, so I hope we showed you enough of the coats. Maybe write a post and, and one of the girls will run and tell us if you need more information on the coats. Yeah, great. On those coats. Um, so we'll move yeah, on now we'll move on to our Made West. Now, this is more of a cardigan style, so it's a little bit more slim line and it has the stretch factor, which is really I'll great. I'll show you the stretch factor here. Come right up to the screen. Oh, let's pop back a little bit. And it's got that beautiful pattern through it. We call it a patchwork. It's different to the other print we've had. If you've noticed this grey print, and this is really—I mean, we joke about the cut, the, the dressing gown, because it's just too good to be even called a dressing gown. But this is just amazing. Yes, and beautiful. still very stylish. That's really my favourite. I think if you're a casual kind of girl, it is very dressy as well. But if you're a casual girl, this is the one for you. If you are a more elegant, if you like to dress up all the time, and you really like that dressed-up look, I think then you've got to go to black. Oh, that looks that looks so good. See, and again, that stretchy, super stretchy. It's actually stretchy, a fabric. Really lovely. It do, it really feels like it actually it does it feels like a dressing gown, yeah, but it feels like a cardigan. It doesn't feel like a coat. Whereas the the teddy bear coats, they feel They're more like coats. a coat. They're yeah. comfortable, but yeah. this is like super duper, really easy to wear. Yeah. You can just throw this on. And I'll just show you. We've actually done shaping on the back of these coats. You can see there. So it's like a structured coat, but it's really mm -hmm. just a knit. And again, big cardi, you've got your big pocket. So I think on a coat like this, this is, like, how would you style this? I think you don't have to be so strict in wearing tight clothes with this because it is a more slim line look. I think that you could easily do a baggy pant or a loose oh, figure Oh, yes, skirt. well, because it's a slim line, different rules yeah, apply. Definitely, now. totally so different baggy pants. Yes. This jacket is more your, like, a cocoon sort of shape. So you want to be showing off the tight legs. Whereas this is a little bit more of a straight shape and it has a bit more of an hourglass shape, so you can definitely do like a loose baggy pant, a collot, you know, anything like that. If you've got real curves, this is the coat for you. If you have anything else, 
go through this coat. And it doesn't mean you don't have a fig run there, I'm not saying that. You know, this is just the shape of it. But this, you can wear it and it can be really tight and really show off uh, your Kim Kardashian look. Yeah, but and we are, are you wearing a 10? I think we're both yeah, wearing a 10. Uh, yes, yes, I yeah, am. Yeah, and that would easily be, like I can fit. You it's can, a normal size. Yeah, you really. can easily fit. I put, put this on. Um, I've actually got a bigger size here. I've left a 10. I've left a 10. Oh, we've only got 10. Mm. Sorry, Sorry, I mean, like, I want the right size. Yeah, I would yes. definitely say go the right size. And yesterday mm. I was wearing a really, really chunky, the velour cow jumper, which probably most of you have because they've been They're sold out like that. Yeah, right. um, and, and I could still wear the 10 easily. I felt like there was plenty of room. So I think that yeah, if, if, if your size isn't available, I'd be confident to say you could even size down in this. You, or you could size up. There's not a huge amount of difference in the sizing of something mm. like this because the only thing that needs to fit really is the arms. Yeah. Most people probably wouldn't do it up. But even still, there's lots of room. Lots of room. Yeah. But I, I also want to have a little chat about not getting hung, hung up on the size that you're buying. Really, it's about how you want it to look. I mean, as designers, we design it to look like this on a 10. I mean, I can't mean eight, but you know. Or this on 10. 10. This on 10, yeah. that's it. Design on 10. But if your personality says, I want to wear my things tighter, go down a size. And if your personality, personality wants to be more flamboyant and wants it bigger, go for it. It's got nothing to do with the size or your measurements. I mean, we do have measurements, I think, online, don't we? Yeah, yeah. But you know what? That's just a figure in the sky. That's just so something for us to go we just on. Have to, yeah. We have to do something so we can make a garment. It's a lot of the time it's personal preference, especially in knit garments. It's just like we joke that someone comes in and they've been wearing our jersey forever and they say they're a 10, but if we were to measure them, they'd probably be a size 14 or 16. No reflection on that, it's just a number. Just don't want you to get hung up on that. Mm -hmm. As soon as you think, oh, well, you can see how we're looking, because if you're buying online, you've got to gauge it by what we're wearing. But mm -hmm. if you're going into the store, easy. Yeah. And again, five foot two, it comes to oh, calf. Okay. Can't five see. Foot. Yeah, it comes. Oh, it sort of comes to your calf. But if you want to see it on someone who is much taller, both the mo all, I think all, all the models, models wearing these, they're about six foot. Six foot. Six foot one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah, six foot. So yeah. um, that'll give you the other end of the spectrum. Great. Right. Right. And everyone else is walking in between, which is you know. And like I said, we designed for five foot six, so that's the average height that we see. Do we need to put this one on? I'll put it on just to. Show it off, the blue. Looks good with your outfit. Nice. That one somehow, I oh know, this one is a bit heavier. Yeah, this one's a little bit, feels a little bit more lighter. Lighter and, and softer, but still just as warm. Yeah, it's really, really warm. Thicker. So um, I am such a an avid armband wearer. Yeah, you do. Do we have armbands? There we go, see. Careful, careful. Oh, I always get worried that we're going to pull out. And everything is just going to collapse. It's like a joke I have. And if anyone's going to do it, it's going to be. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, we don't have? No, we do. All right, cool. So I will please do. Mind you, I did do that once we set it all up perfectly, and then I went straight over the And it takes us a while to set up because we need to. Because what we see is not necessarily what you see. You see a lot more than what we can see in the screen. So I'd do armbands, and I'd wear my long sleeve underneath so I don't get too cold. Yeah, that's sort of nice. Hanging down under your coat. I like that. You know, it's always good. And then when you put on your coat, that'd probably rise up anyway. Yeah, because it's cold as well. You know, yeah. you don't want to. Yeah, so I would always do this because, um, and I might even Give just a get a bit of drama on. happening around yeah, this it's area. Yeah, more style, you know. Like you know what you're doing in your clothes. That's really what it is. And I feel it's like beautiful. it just instantly gives me a little bit more shape. It does. It's Otherwise, I feel like, cause especially because I'm short, I can. I feel like I look like I'm wearing like my mum's clothes. Like I'm a little girl with my mum's clothes. So this is a great trick. Armbands are the best invention on the planet. You need to get them if you don't have them. Yeah, let's just show them. Did we show you these? I don't know if we did. So. Alright, so now we're going to show you something that we haven't yet talked about. We're giving you a sneak peek into our next peek. This is our next capsule. This is not the next capsule, which is capsule after oh, these two items. Okay, we're really jumping a gun. We're, we're getting too excited, as you do, when you look at Motto. Now, this is probably. Oh, so nice and lush. We didn't put pockets in this because it just didn't look quality. It didn't work. It didn't work in this sort of fabric. But the collar is really nice and soft. You can bunch it up and do whatever. And this one actually feels oh my God, so good. So nice. So amazing. It's really hard to see it online. I'm going to try and get in the light. I don't know where I'm. There's yeah. a light right in front of me. I don't know if it's working. Color. How beautiful. Yeah, I feel like, like I've got a really beautiful warm cat just draped over me. It is just, it kind of feels like it collapses to nothing. Have a look yeah. at that. I bet if you threw this in your bag, 
because you didn't want to wear it and you're out somewhere, it would come out just like this, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Just collapse to nothing. Actually, we should do that, shouldn't we? What? I'll go and grab a bag and stick okay. it in. Shall yeah, I? No, Excuse me on. while I run off the well, screen. Don't, don't, don't pull don't out the whole anything. thing. So I'm wearing a size 10, and again, I'm 5 foot 2. So you can see where it sits. And I think if you are a on the shorter Back side, again. if you're on the shorter side and um, you feel like some coats are too voluminous for you, this is a great one for you. And the collar's really floppy, you can make it smaller. You can make it bigger. I like collars quite big, but you can easily do that. And there is a button somewhere. If I can find it. I might okay, this kind of collapses to nothing, and it's sort of still half empty. I know this is my fabulous carry bag, oh, but it's right with your outfit. Doesn't it? It works. Totally yeah. Right. So that's what you can do with this. It is amazing. And then you pull it out, and look. Just brand new. Beautiful. Yeah, really nice. Yeah, it's upside down. Um, so there's two press stud buttons on this if you do want to wear it close when it's like freezing. But I think that it looks awesome open. There it is. And it has these beautiful mesh stripes through it. Gorgeous. Mm. Um, and how about this awkward leather underneath? Ooh, might I nice. just add? I, like it with the leather. I actually feel like this is my new fave. I say that about every mix. But how cool does that look? Usually I love a long coat, even though I'm sure I love wearing long, oversized things. This is easy to how just throw on though. Yeah. That's awesome. And with Actually, leather. Love, love that. Oh, I think I've got my, the tag of the... Oh, you have to. Wrapped around the button. button. Okay, blooper. Somebody said, oh, you show your bloopers, and we said, it's live, we have to. <laughs> Full of bloopers. Yeah, we show all the bloopers. <laughs> I find lives much easier than actually film pre-recording something. So when you pre-record it, you've got the chance to change it, and then yeah. you, you, you do. do. This is, this is so much easier. Oh, yeah. All right, and this is the. Oh yeah, I love this colour too. Yeah. Oh, it looks good. And the black obviously suits mm. this outfit, I reckon. Mm. Yeah, black looks amazing. My red lipstick. Yeah. Love it. Love it. So Gorgeous. these. I don't even know what these are called. They're on. We don't know yet, but they'll be they've online. just come out. They just went up yesterday. Down short for look. Faux fur, of course. Yeah, everything's faux, but it feels incredible. It feels. And now, nice. does this one have stretch lining? Uh, yes, they all do. Notice. They all do. Well, it's only a slight stretch because you can't. Yeah. You know, but it does give you that movement. movement. So if you're in the car, it's comfortable. I hate being restricted in the car. That's like my number one gripe. Last. All right, we'll come back to this least. one more time. Yes, we will. No, I was wearing mine and it's just gotten thrown over there. Yeah, that's right. It has, but. Yeah. I was going to talk about cows too. Somebody did ask me about cows. We're going to actually do that as a separate uh, live later on. Are we so doing that today, are we? We'll do that later on today. Oh, okay. Yeah, about three o'clock. Twice in one day. Days. It'll be a quick evening. You know, you can have to in no time. To wear snoods and ponchos and whatnot. And yeah. have a picture cow. I'll show you later. Okay. Okay. So lastly, this is the fur vest we talked about before. Again, we're both in size 10s. But um, I think the key to the vest is definitely just wear something tight Two underneath. Arms. Yeah. Um, you can, there, there is variances to this rule, so if you are more confident or you're more used to the look, then you can definitely wear something um, a little bit baggy underneath, but I would definitely go with the tight legs, otherwise you need a huge big belt to yeah, draw everything in here, so they can see that it's, mm, mm. That's right, just to show your belt. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. We can show you that another time. I wear it all the time, so I'll yeah. post it. Yeah, it just gives you a bit of shape. Great. Right. We're done today, so I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, we'll see you later on. Yeah, ask um, just a couple of comments if you're still not sure, but we'll see you yeah, later for the snods twice yeah. in one day. Okay. Let me know. <laughs> see you later. Bye.